Hello and welcome to another reaction. I'm AJ Knox and tonight I'm watching Die Hard. I've had this movie on my list for so long and I'm finally getting to watch it. I was actually supposed to watch it during the holiday season, but I had a bunch of other movies to do, so I just decided to do this whenever I could. So yeah, I'm gonna be watching this full series as well. So I'm really excited to see Bruce Willis and his crazy action. I don't know anything about this movie other than the fact that he's a cop, I think, and he gets into these crazy scenarios there's a lot of things blowing up and people dying probably, but I really don't know what to expect other than like some badass action. So I'm really excited. Also, I know the line yippee Kaye, so I can't wait to actually like hear it and see like everything that's happening while he says it. Cause I don't know what it means in the context of this movie, like when he says it and why. So I'm really excited to see all the crazy action and just him saying all these lines that I've heard from this movie. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what your favorite part of this movie is and make sure to subscribe because I'm gonna be doing so many more reactions. Also make sure to check out my Patreon where I have my full length reaction available for you guys to watch me as I watch the movie, as well as polls for you guys to choose what I watch next and access to my Discord server. So make sure to check that out. It's linked in the description box below. And without further ado, let's get into the movie. You wanna know the secret to surviving air travel? Drugs. You take off your shoes and your socks, then you walk around on the rug barefoot. I don't know if I'd want to walk around in a carpet at the airport with bare feet. Get a weird foot fungus or something. It's okay, I'm a cop. <laughs> you allowed to have a gun? I feel like that's not allowed in airplanes anymore. <gasps> Ooh, Alan Rickman's in this. I'm excited. I had no idea. This is great. Pretty soon, pretty soon. You'll be in bed when I get there, though. Is Daddy coming home with you? Well, we'll see what Santa and Mommy can do, okay? <laughs> Bye, honey. Aw, I love how she looked at the pictures of her kids while she was talking to them. That's so cute. Did Mr. McLean call? No, Mrs. Honey. No telephone. Well, he probably just didn't have time before his flight. Um, it might be a good idea to make up the spare bedroom just in case. Hmm. All right. Spare bedroom for him. That's interesting. I wonder what kind of cop he is that he travels so much and isn't close with his family, I'm assuming, because he has to sleep in the spare bedroom. Hey, I'm John McClain. Our guy. I'm your limo driver. Nice. I want a limo driver. Sick. Relax. We got everything in this mug, man. Look at this. Why is he in the front and the bears in the back? I guess he suspects some like weird things going on. Maybe he just wants to be sure that this guy's like legit. I didn't know you were gonna sit up front. So uh, your lady live out here? About the past six months. Hmm. Meaning you still live in New York. You always ask us many questions, Argyle. <laughs> Sorry, man, I used to drive a cab and uh, people would expect a little chit chat. Not anymore, my Uber. <laughs> Please be quiet. <laughs> Unless it's a nice sunny day or something or they have good conversation. Well, why'd you come with her, man? What's up? I'm a New York cop. You can't just pick up and go that easy. In other words, you thought she wasn't gonna make it out here and she'd come crawling up back to you. Is that it? Oh, man. <laughs> I love the tangerine sky of the LA, like skyline and everything. This is beautiful. I've only seen it look like this a couple of times because I live in LA, but this is nice. So if it doesn't work out, man, you got a place to stay? I'll find a place. Hmm. i tell you what. I'm gonna pull in the parking garage and I'll wait. You score, you give me a call on the car phone. Oh, that's nice. I like this guy. Wonder if he's gonna stick with him throughout the film or something. Be his driver the whole time. Get into some action too. That'd be fun. He seems like a cool character. Hi. I'm here to see Holly McLean. Just type it in there. What? She lives in this dope ass building? Are you kidding me? Where'd she get her money from? <laughs> yeah, you'd have to take a leak. It'll even help you find your zipper. This must have been so cool back then, like so high tech. Like, oh my god, I saw this in this movie. I want that. <laughs> oh, right. This is where she works. Duh. <laughs> this is where she lives. <laughs> I'm an idiot. It'd be amazing, though. <laughs> Throw quite a party. I didn't realize they celebrated Christmas in Japan. Like the fake LA backdrop in the window. I wonder if they like hand painted that or something. It was made for the business. Aww. Tough as new. Is there a place where I could wash up? Sure. 
I wonder if they're going to reconnect. She clearly still has feelings for him, the way she looks at him and everything. I like how calm, cool, and collected he is, though. He's just like, oh, you're having a party. Cool. I'm a cool guy. Where are you staying? Kathy Roberts retired out here. Told me I could bunk in with him. Kathy retired, huh? Why don't we make it easy? I have a spare bedroom. <laughs> I mean, it's not huge or anything, but kids would love to have you at the house. Let's do it. Daddy's home. Come on, stay with the fam. She misses you. I guess you didn't miss my name, though, huh? Except maybe when you're signing checks. They figure a married woman's got You are a married woman, Holly. You're married to no. me. This conversation I had an opportunity. In July. I had yeah, to take right. it. Right. No matter what the consequences. Wow. I mean, a move like that would definitely make everything complicated. And if you don't have good communication, then it's just no bueno. Interesting setup here. Getting a feel of his relationship with his wife and everything. Now I'm wondering whether or not he's going to just stay in LA. So Kareem rebounds, right? To magic, then back to work, Oh, they're right? gonna kill him. Oh, no. I like this guy's outfit. He looks cool. Hmm. Stealing money from a safe or something? Inside job, maybe? Not expecting that. Oh man, God. I feel bad for security guards, especially in movies. It's like, you don't even have a chance, man. <laughs> I don't even think it was armed. <gasps> oh, there he is. It's Alan Rickman. He looks so different. I love his goatee. He looks like a villain. He looks good. I like this guy's personality. He's just like, I'm dealing, I'm working, I'm doing my thing. I got this. <laughs> Trying it out. How's it working for you? <laughs> Loving it. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> He's just like, screw it. <laughs> You're taking too long. <laughs> Get it together. <laughs> No patience whatsoever. You're harsh in my mellow, dog. <laughs> Trying to make it discreet. Dude. Oh my god, that's so scary. What's he gonna do? Is he gonna hide? Is he gonna run? Or is he gonna fight? What? He left his wife? I mean, I guess there's nothing he really do for her, but... Still, it's kind of messed up. Like, he's not gonna be there for her. Did he go to the top floor? Is he gonna jump? Joseph Yoshinobu Takagi, born Kyoto, 1937. Family emigrated to San Pedro, California, 1939. Scholarship student, University of California. I mean, if it were nowadays, you could just go on Google. This is you. All right, come with me. <laughs> Enough. I am Takagi. It's a pleasure to meet you. Well, what are you gonna do with him, though? Like, what's the point of this? I'm trying to get money. I'm trying to like kidnap him. I'm trying to kill him in front of his employees. Teach him a lesson. Do, 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 do. Nice suit, John Phillips, London. I have two myself. Oh, I love his performance so far. This is great. What kind of terrorists are you? <laughs> Who said we were terrorists? I mean, <laughs> you're terrorizing people. <laughs> what is he doing just crawling with this gun? What do you wish to accomplish with this dude? <laughs> like, you're by yourself. I don't know. I don't know it. I'm telling you. You just got to kill. Okay. Oh no! Oh! I didn't think he was gonna do it. God. Uh, he was a sweet man. Oh, that spatter on the door. Oof. All right. All I've seen of him is just hiding with his gun like this. I'm ready for the action. <laughs> When's he gonna kick some ass? Right now. Why is I'm still coming by later? 
<laughs> Party in the back seat, get it boy. I mean, that's the job, right? You gotta wait for the client. Why not have a party by yourself with the bear? <laughs> it's just by himself, the crazy man, just like, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, they're gonna go back. I'm gonna stop. Motherfuckers, no, no! <laughs> the fucking truck around! He's <laughs> just talking to himself. He looks like a crazy person. <laughs> the fire has been caught off, my friend. No one is coming to help you. You might as well come out and join the others. Oh, God. I promise I won't hurt you. I don't trust him with that machine gun. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> he just immediately starts shooting. Are you serious? Jeez. I like how he holds it. He's like running with it and he's like, boom. Drop it, Dick. <laughs> it's the police. You won't hurt me. Why not? There are rules for policemen. So my captain keeps telling me. <laughs> nice. I don't follow the rules. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my god. All of this. It's a wonder none of them got hurt in the process of doing this. Oh man. <laughs> Is he dead? Got one. 20 more to go. <laughs> Damn, dude, this guy's good. I mean, I know he's a bad guy, but like, respect. <laughs> ah, here we go. Wear that Santa hat. Oh my God, I love this. He's turning into super cop right now. I'm ready. He's gonna destroy them all. I wanted this to be professional. Efficient, adult, cooperative, not a lot to ask. Alas, your Mr. Takagi did not see it that way, so he won't be joining us for the rest of his life. Oh my god, that line. <laughs> How he delivered it for the rest of his life. I don't think I've ever heard anyone be so cavalier. Here we go! I like how he's bold enough to just send them a message like that. Like, bitch, I'm coming for you. Oh, that's terrifying, dude. Come on, oh my god. Dude, easily crushed if you're not careful. It's not like Willy Wonka, just like pour out of the ceiling. <laughs> I like how he stops to look at the boobs. <laughs> Could be the last boobs you ever see, so why not, right? <laughs> I want blood. You'll have it. After we call the police, they'll waste hours trying to negotiate, and then you're going to tear the building apart. But until then, we do not alter the plan. I like how villains are always like upset and pissed off when someone kills off their friend or their brother or sister, but they're just killing off everybody. Like. <laughs> He's on a rampage. He is on a mission. I am ready to see his mission be accomplished. Yes. Ah. Uh, no. Go, go. This channel is reserved for emergency calls only. No fucking shit, lady. Do I sound like I'm ordering a pizza? <laughs> Great line. <laughs> like, what you think this is? What the fuck do you think this is, man? <laughs> if this is an emergency call, dial 911. Are you kidding me? Report me. Just send the police now. Oh my god. That's awful. Like, oh, ow, my ear. Someone's shooting. Like, go send people, dumb bitch. The fuck? See if there's a black and white that can do a drive by. <laughs> She's like, this is inconveniencing me. Like, oh, like, I don't want to do anything. Fuck you. You guys just ate donuts. Family matters. I love him. Investigate a code two at Nakatomi Plaza, Century City. I'm on my way. Not just one. Send more. Come on. Don't kill him, please. I like him. Oh man. Oh. Oh. 
Oh my god, dude. Can we just talk about how badass he is right now doing all this in an, a building that he's not familiar with? Taking on all these guys by himself? Gotta touch him. <laughs> I'm actually kind of surprised though that Alan Rickman's character is letting this happen. Like that he hasn't like tried to talk to him on the walkie or anything and tell him like if he doesn't stop this mess, something's gonna happen to the other hostages or something. I wonder that if that's gonna happen at some point. Mm. Oh fuck. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god, that drop though. <laughs> what? I can stall them, but not if they hear gunshots. If you lock him in, he'll be neutralized. Wow. I'm not listening to you no more, boss. I'm gonna do my own thing and get myself killed. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. Ah, oh, grasp onto it with all of your strength. Oh, oh god. Whew, this guy is like lucky as fuck. Good thing he can fit too. That thing is tiny. Oh, jeez. Oh, he'd be done for. Oh my god. Don't move a muscle, dude. Oh, shit. This guy isn't as stupid as you'd think he would be. Oh, lucky. Dude, like the luckiest man on the planet. It's like, seriously. No signs of disturbance, dispatch. I do see a guard inside. I'm gonna go in for a closer look. I see gunshots on the rooftop. I'm just gonna act like nothing's wrong. Doesn't seem like anything's wrong. Like, really, dog? I guess those were just fireworks? Like, what the hell? Evening, officer. What can I do for you? Man, that's smart as fuck. <laughs> uh, come on, where's the fucking cavalry? Not coming. It's all you, boo. You don't mind if I take a look around, do you? Nah, help yourself. He's gonna be watching you, though. <laughs> Put the gun down, okay? Put it down! Show it down! Oh my god. Oh, man. That was tense. Holy crap. <sighs> <laughs> this guy. <laughs> no more table. Where are you going? <laughs> He's so crazed. <laughs> Thanks for the advice. Legit. What an idiot. Like, oh, there's no more table. Yeah, I wonder why. He's under it with a gun. Duh. <laughs> oh, brilliant cinema. This is so much fun. <laughs> Everything here is okay. Over. But nobody has to Come on. Run out of time. <gasps> Holy shit. If you're gonna throw something, gotta be a body. Oh no, don't kill him. <laughs> These one liners are fire. Thank you. <gasps> oh no. Are you serious? Get off the phone. I need backup assistance now! Now, goddammit, now! What the fuck are you doing? Get off the phone! What's with these cops? LA cops compared to New York cops. <laughs> John McClane beating these bitches badass as fuck the entire time. LA cops. Oh, I want my donuts. Oh, there's nothing going on. Oh, he's probably prank calling. Ugh. You're most troublesome for a security guard. Eh, sorry, Hans, wrong guess. Who are you then? Just a fly in the ointment, Hans. A pain in the ass. Oh, C4. Can I see some explosions? Don't use the radio. See if he's lying about Marco and find out if anyone else is missing. 
<laughs> he ain't lying. <laughs> Do you really think you have a chance against us, Mr. Cowboy? Yippee ki motherfucker. Yes! Here we go! Get it, boy! You don't want to give me a truck? I'll go and I'll steal a truck. Hey, give us a break, Thornburg. Oh, hey, he's a news outlet. Okay. Interesting. He wasn't lying about Marco. He's down on the street. And his bag is missing. He had to detonate it. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. 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 It's gonna happen. You the guy in the car? What's left of him? Can you identify yourself? Not now. Maybe later. They're well financed and very slick. Add all that up, but you got some badass perpetrators and they're here to stay. I hear you, partner. In LA's finest are running. So what do I call you? Call me a badass motherfucker. <laughs> he won't give us his name. But he appears to be the one who phoned in the report. Powell, has it occurred to you he could be one of the terrorists pulling your chain? I don't think so, sir. In fact, I think he's a cop. I mean, regardless, <laughs> you gotta go with it. I mean, he's killing it. <laughs> it's probably the same silly son of a bitch you've been talking to on that radio. <sighs> but what about the body that fell out the window? The no, incompetence. Some stock got depressed. What? <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? How fucking stupid can you be? Oh yeah, it's just some random guy. Like he was shot like five million times, dog. Like what are you talking about? How much? Like how much more do you need thrown into your face for you to like actually take this seriously? God, I guess it says a lot about how they think of LA cops. <laughs> <laughs> These cops suck. I'm just going to run into a rose bush. <laughs> Ow, it hurts. Ow. <laughs> you dummy. <laughs> oh, man. I wonder why they added that in. <laughs> They're shooting at him. It's panic fire. They can't see anything. They're shooting at the lights. Mm. Damn, he's got this. He's like, let me run this shit, bitch. God, I hope someone listens to him soon. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I love when he's just talking to himself, like, what the hell is going on now? <laughs> is that a bazooka? Oh, shit. Dog, wait a minute. <laughs> Holy crap. This just got so much better. Oh my god. That's insane. Oh my god, the quarterback is toast. <laughs> I love this guy. I know he's a bad guy and everything, but he's amazing. <laughs> he's got such a great personality. Oh man, gonna be a big explosion. Oh, wait, what? Holy crap! Damn! Blowing up the entire freaking building. He's an idiot. It's not the police. It's him. <laughs> How did that not like collapse the building? It was like a whole floor. Jesus. Al, Al, do you copy? Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> He's having fun. <laughs> what, what was that? Me. It was me. <laughs> now you listen to me, mister. You just destroyed a building. Now we do not want your help. Is that clear? We don't want your help. What? <laughs> Are you serious? Get the fuck out of here. Quit being part of the fucking problem and put the other guy back on. Yes. Thank you. Telling him what's up. Need that. You hang in there. Oh. Yeah, thanks, partner. Oh my god, please have them start a bromance or something. I really like their dynamic. I'm like ready for another movie with them. How about you, cowboy? You got any kids back on your ranch? Two. Sure hope I can see him swinging on a jungle gym with Al Jr. someday. Hmm. Well, now that's a date. But uh, you're gonna have to bring the ice cream. <laughs> They're so cute. Mr. Officer John McLean of Fuck, I knew he was going to give him all that info. Damn, dude. Someone who wants to talk to you. A very special friend who was with you at the party tonight. That douche. Ugh. He's all smiley, too. Like, oh, I got you. Ugh. John, you give me a few minutes to try to talk some sense into you. 
I know you think you're doing your job, John, and I can appreciate that, but you're just dragging this thing out. He's just having way too much fun with this whole thing. Can't wait till John slaps him around later. I told him we were old friends and you were my guest at the party. Ellis, you shouldn't be doing this. Tell me about it. They want you to tell them what the detonators are. They want the detonators or they're gonna kill me. I mean, let him kill him. <laughs> he sucks. You don't put my life on the line for you, pal. Jesus Christ, Ellis, these people are gonna kill you. Tell them you don't know me. <laughs> John, how can you say that after all these years, huh? John. Oh, shit. <laughs> what an idiot. What an idiot. Oh, he did it to himself. Like, nobody told you to do this, man. Like, what is wrong with you? Oh, my God. So full of himself. Jeez. I'm here, John. I'm here. You gotta believe me, there's nothing I could do. Well, it's gonna be both our asses if you're wrong. <laughs> I hear you. I love their banter, like they're back and forth on the walkies. I'm glad he has someone to talk to while he's going through all of this. Like, he's doing this all on his own. This guy's like his biggest support system right now. He's like, got his back. Even though he can't technically do anything, sometimes you just need that one person that says, keep going, I believe in you. <laughs> Here's Johnny. Look <laughs> how scared he is. Oh, you're one of them, aren't you? You're one of them. <gasps> oh, no. Please, no, please. Don't kill me, don't kill me, please, please. Holy crap. No, he did not. Oh, God, he's so smart. I managed to get out of there. And, uh, well, I was just trying to get up on the roof and see if I could signal for help. Holy crap. Now he's going to try to protect him even though he's the bad guy. I've never seen anything like this before. Oh, this is brilliant. You smoke? Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> you don't work for Nakatomi. And if you're not one of them. Getting to know you. I'm a cop from New York. Mm, telling the enemy all your secrets. This guy's real smart. You know how to use a handgun, Bill? I spent a weekend at a combat ranch. John, don't you dare! Don't trust anyone. It's time for the real thing, Bill. Don't trust anyone! Keep it for yourself. Don't do it. Oh, no. Oh, and you turn your back. Put down the gun and give me my detonator. He had to have taken the bullets out or something. Come on. Hans, put it down now. But what do you want with the detonators, Hans? I already used all the explosives. Or did I? Hmm. I'm going to count to three. Like you did with Takagi. Oops. Yes! I knew it! Oh, man. <laughs> like two to go. Technically three. Oh my god, this is amazing. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, the knees. Jeez, there's just so much going on, like exploding around him. <laughs> Oh god, not that thing again. I hope he closed his eyes. Here they are. Smile, Carl. We're back in business. That was weird. <laughs> He's just in like kill mode. Carl, kill. Carl, kill now. Carl, kill John. Oh man. <laughs> god, that man looks really pissed. Only John can drive somebody that crazy. <laughs> She's like in awe of him. I'm in awe of him. He's freaking amazing. I feel like everyone needs a John in their life. Oh. oh, he's leaving a trail though. They're ordering the others to cut the building's power regular as clockwork. Hmm. 
the circuits that cannot be cut are cut automatically. If you ask for miracles, I give you the death. Dude, helping the bad guys out every step of the way. This is ridiculous. Hey, lose the grid or you lose your job. Uh, say, listen, uh, would it be possible for you to turn off uh, grid 212? <laughs> says, would it be possible for you to just like cut off the power for 10 blocks? Like, do you mind? <laughs> say, what'd you think about that? <laughs> Wow, they're in heaven now. <laughs> I like that shot of just like his hair blowing in the wind. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Get all the prezzies. Get all the monies. Yo, pal, you got a minute? I'm here, John. Listen, man, I'm starting to get a bad feeling up here. Hmm. I want you to find my wife. Don't ask me how, by then you'll know how. Told her it took me a while to figure out uh, what a jerk I've been. That when things started to pan out for her, I should have been more supportive. And uh, I just should have been behind her more. Tell her that, um, that she's the best thing that ever happened to a bum like me. Mm. Yeah, I got it, John. Mm. But you can tell her that yourself. You just watch your ass and you'll make it out of there. You hear me? Yes. Well, I guess that's something to man upstairs. He says, you're good. Don't worry. Be careful. It's interesting that he says that about his wife and everything after like his correspondence with this guy. He like feels the support from this guy. So he feels like he really should have supported his wife in kind of the same way. It's really touching. Ah, <sighs> the bomb. Good looking out, John. Jeez, I'm gonna blow up a whole city. God. Uh... See, here's where bad guys fuck up, though. <laughs> if he had just shot John without even, like, a second of hesitation, everything would have been fine. But now John's gonna kick his ass, and I can't fucking wait. <laughs> this is personal. Mm. <laughs> yes! Get it, boy! You got this, boo! Uh oh. Uh, no. Oh, that's a great reveal. Dude, this movie is so well written. Oh man. I love this story. The reveals, the treachery, the fighting, the explosions. Oh no. Oh. Oh god. God, with his arm too, still going. <laughs> oh God, oh man, oh. And he shoots him too? Nah, okay, just strangles him. <laughs> Everybody's just having way too much fun with this, it's great. <laughs> Oh, yes! Here we go! Oh, man. Oh, no, they think he's a terrorist. They're gonna try to shoot him or something. No! No! Oh! Oh, gosh. This movie. <laughs> That's insane. Again? <laughs> this is the third time he's done this to himself. This is insanity. Holy crap, I'm like holding on to myself. Ah! Holy crap! This is amazing! <laughs> Oh my god! He's insane! Who is he? <laughs> He's like, who 
trained him. I want to give them a high five. <laughs> uh oh. Oh shit. Come on, man. This can't be it. Oh man. There's so many unpredictable moments in this movie. It's amazing. Fuck. Oh man. some more FBI guys. <laughs> I was about to say, somebody doesn't like the FBI. <laughs> Here's our guy. Gonna have his moment. Really? Wow. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Good for him. He's so cute. <laughs> All right, he's crazed now. He's on his last legs. He's tired. He wants to go home. He wants his wife back. Spend time with his family. Hi, honey. <laughs> he's been through some shit. <laughs> you made a pretty good cowboy yourself, Hans. What was it you said to me before? Yippee kaye, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Doesn't sound right when he says it. <laughs> Yes! John! Holy crap! Happy trails, Hans. Wow! Girl! Dude, this shot. Oh, crap. Oh my god, his face! Dude, this movie! Hmm. Holy crap. At this point, never leave each other again. <laughs> Talk about reviving a relationship. Jeez. There he is. <laughs> Look how proud he is. Aww. Got some really great shots in this movie. <laughs> oh yay! We did it. How is my wife Holly? Holly Gennaro. Holly McLean. Hello, Holly. Yeah. Oh my God! Shut up! Punch him in the face. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh my god. He's like the Terminator. <laughs> yes, he got his moment. Yes, boo. Did it just for John. Got your courage back. John here changing lives and saving lives. <laughs> now that it's all over after this incredible ordeal, what are your feelings? <laughs> Nice, he's rubbing off on people. <laughs> How many terrorists did you get back? Did you get that? <laughs> it's good TV. This is their idea of Christmas. I gotta be here for New Year's. <laughs> Yo, this movie was fucking insane. Are you kidding me? It's just nonstop action the entire time. John is the fucking goat. Honestly, like, he can do no freaking wrong. He got all the bad guys by himself while all these dumbass cops are like trying to trail their way in and fucking stuff up. But man, this movie not only was the action like on point, but the dialogue was great. It had great one-liners and also like the dialogue between the cop and John as well. Like he was his support system and everything. And he was just with him throughout the entire time. Just like telling him, keep going. You got this. Like we need you. You need your help. I'm here for you for you and just like man that was just a great dialogue between both of them and like everything that they were both going through with John dealing with these bad guys and then the other guy dealing with all these you know 
know, higher up cops that are telling him what to do, even though they're wrong. And regardless of whether or not he thought like John was maybe like a prank caller or in the wrong, he was like, you know what? You came to me, I'm here for you. Let's do this together. Even though we can't necessarily do it together, let's work together and try to figure this out. Like, holy crap. Crap. Ah, and then Alan Rickman's character, like the freaking, like the moment when he's like, you know, pretending to be a hostage. I'm just like, I, like, what is happening? This is amazing. He was such a great villain. Man, like, not only was he smart, he was just like, menacing as well like you really felt like scared of him a little bit you know he was just like i'm here for what i'm doing if someone gets in my way bam they're out of here like i'm on my own shit like i want to get this done like and the way that he like deterred the cops he was always like step ahead of them and yeah if it weren't for john i mean his plan would have been perfectly executed like john was like a blip you know <laughs> like, he wasn't supposed to even be there but fuck, this movie was amazing i am so happy that i I finally saw this movie and I'm so ready to continue on with this series because if the other movies are anything like this one I'm in for a crazy ride and I'm so ready for this I'm so freaking pumped so yeah let me know what your favorite part of this movie was in the comments below and make sure to subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one